All right, guys, we're here just before Queen Fairs. It's actually not too bad, as usual, because it's only one turn. I mean, sorry, one action per turn. We can usually plan around it pretty well. And even Doity can actually be useful here. I hate that I have to quantify it like that, but it's true. Anyway, Monsters will be using Kerplunk uh, right in the beginning, so don't worry about him being at full health right now. Anyway, here's our general stats. I got the resilience back up for Chromio, so he's maxed it out. I think he lost us some wisdom when I was doing the TNT boards, but wisdom really doesn't matter as long as you're above 25, so... I think it's 25 or 20. It's one of the two. Either way, he's fine. So, but yeah, good stats still. Uh, let's see. Yep, same for Granny still. And as for Doity, I think he like leveled up once or twice, maybe. But his stats haven't gotten much better. So, nothing really big on that front. Now, as for items, we have our usual equipment for Chromio here. Uh, you do for the emergencies, but probably won't need it. Packs a punch, because, you know, uh, Chromio's carrying this team right now. Still have not used any stat seeds, just wanted to mention that. Uh, for Granny, still keep rocking the same gear, because that's the best she's got. She's got the Staff of Salvation, though. As this Icicle Dirk is for... For the rare instances where she doesn't have to use the healing staff, the healing stuff. But I also put rock bomb shards because I wasn't sure what did more damage. I think the icicle jerk did, but I wasn't really using it much. I used it like each of them once, and then I forgot because I was busy with having her heal. But don't worry about the Zenithian sword either. As for Doity, well, you already saw it, but they got the dragon staff. They're going to be the dragon staff user, and it works pretty well for this fight since they have a breath attack that. Um, Ferris has a breath attack that, uh, with using the dragon stuff will make him immune to. I also have the Zenithian shield just for some of the casting of the spells. I'm going to use the Zenithian shield first and then immediately dragon staff so that, uh, Doidy can go ahead and start off with a bit of a defense against the spells. You, but, you know, bef I'm, I mean, before we use the fairy foil anyway. I mean, ap yeah, after we use the fairy foil. I'm, I'm getting things out of order. The other stuff I was debating on using instead, but the dragon staff is much better, and I honestly need to just clear that out, but don't worry about Doity. So, Doity's going to be actually useful this time. But after this fight, I think things are going to be a lot tougher. It's got to be. And I probably will be using my stat seeds finally after this. So, hope you took notes on the, my stats there, because <laughs> things are going to change. Alright, no, thank you. I am willing to stand against my own mother because you are not my mother. Anyway, there's Queen Fairs. Oh my god, what a shot. <laughs> For boss time against Queen Fairs. Alright, so first things first, go ahead and Kerplunk. You, you deserve it. That sounds bad, actually. Alright, and we're going to also start it with Kabuff. And Granny's going to also chime in and buff Chromio while... We have Doity Fairy Foil himself. There we go. The uh, Granny having buff kind of just saves us time a little bit. You're going to buff, you're going to buff yourself, and you're also going to Fairy Foil. And that should be enough for defense. And now I'm going to Insulate. You are going to heal Doity and... Let me see. Doity is now going to put the shield up, because I don't think Insulate gets bounced back in this one. I could be wrong. But I also know Chromio is faster, so. Very good. Now, it's a lot of setup, guys. Gotta use Strength on you. Um, I think this is your free turn, because you don't have anything better to do. Why don't you Icicle Dirt? And you are going to go ahead and Dragon Staff. There you go, and we got steady six damage. Yeah, Ice Gold Dark's only 12. Oh, but he missed. Cool. All right, now you can start attacking. Let's see, that was 12 versus what? Let's find out. Okay, a little bit more damage. It's rare that he's going to have... She's going to have to attack anyway. Why don't you just keep yourself healed up? I will put Granny on Staff of Healing if the damage starts being constant. I mean, Staff of Healing. On uh, Focus on Healing because I don't like having to manually keep doing that because it's a very simple action. Okay, good. 
we're not having to worry about that much. Why don't you go ahead and rock bomb shard again? Bounce wore off, so we're probably gonna need to heal more now. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and start you off healing Doity, and then I'm gonna probably switch you over to focus on healing. Awesome. Yes. We, yeah. Do more of that. I'm fine with that. But yeah, go ahead. Back into focus on healing for now. If I feel like uh, she's starting to mess up, I'm gonna go ahead and take over again. Because sometimes the prioritization is a little weird. And again, I believe it depends on your wisdom. When it, I'm assuming when it's lower wisdom, they focus on themselves more. But when they're higher wisdom, yeah, like that, they know. Oh, I should heal the one that's a little bit weaker. I think Doity should survive. But if he does, if he goes down, I'm just gonna revive him. I'm not really super worried. Yeah, we're okay. But if Granny starts ignoring her duties, I'm gonna have to. Okay, good, good, good. All right, yeah, and now she's probably just going to attack. She doesn't really have anything better, and that does better than the than the uh, icicle dirt. All right, Doity will be probably a little bit in peril every now and then. Oh, hey, Granny uh, realized she should heal on him. Good, good job. I really wasn't expecting that because her AI has been mostly focused her first, even though Doity could probably benefit more, but they do have a bigger HP difference, so I could totally see why that might happen instead. Also, I, debatably, I probably should have uh, packed a punch Doity just for when he attacks instead of breathes, but I don't think it's necessary. But there you go. That's Queen Fairs. Mostly pretty easy. It's more setup than anything, and once you're set up, you're good. However, the next fight, Corral, well, we're not setting up, we're not going to be able to set up much, eh, which includes the pa lack of packs of punch, which is going to suck. Uh, so, yeah, I'm not looking forward to how that's going to have to go. I'm probably going to have to solo with Chromia with Granny and Doity playing extra lives with Yiglies, but we'll see how that goes. I will meet you there. Okay, guys, we're here at King Corral, and it's actually not so bad once you use some stat seeds. Or maybe max out your level, whichever comes first. You actually only need to just barely get your HP above 105. However, I used all my story seeds that I've been gathering since, well, the beginning. Uh, this includes TNT board stuff and, and random drops every now and then, but I don't remember any. So, total of 9, and I got Chromio's HP up to 129. That's pretty good. I also gave him a few stat seed, strength stat seeds, too, just because uh, I wanted to give him just a small boost. I didn't want to go too hard, so I just gave him, like, two. And, of course, with the, I did it at max possibility, so it was always plus three strength and plus six health for each one. I just kept save stating until it worked. You can do the same on a regular console, but you'd ha it'd take longer steps just by uh, resetting your save at a church each time. But so, uh, since I have the convenience, I do what I can to shorten it as long as it's possible within legitimate means. So uh, don't worry about the fact that he's six HP uh, um, under right now. That it really doesn't matter. <clears throat> doesn't matter as long as he's above 105, because that's the crit that King Corral has. Attack's decent enough. Uh, if your strength's not this high, you could also just use Frizzle until Bounce goes down. And you could either spend a turn using the Zenithian Sword, or you could just attack and do just slightly less damage until it goes down again. So, either way works. But, uh, Granny's still the same, don't worry about them. I didn't use any other stat seeds on anybody, but Doi did level up, but uh, didn't really do much other than a little bit more HP. And maybe like one or two stats into the other stuff here, but... Not enough. He maxes out at 30, which is so stupid. He really should be one of the level 99 ones, so he can actually be some sort of use later. But I digress. That's for the end of uh, the Monster Party wrap-up sort of thing there. So, let's go to item setup. The only one that's important, really, with item setup is Chromio. Chromio needs the Staff of Salvation for whenever he gets crit, because even though the Slump Curio does heal him over time, it can... By the, sometimes uh, Corral will crit again before your Chromio is full up, so you're better off just Staff of salvation just to get yourself back up. But otherwise, generally, basic stuff here. 
I have elf I had elf and elixirs in case I needed to use Frizzle the whole time, but these are not needed. And same with the Yigdu in case like uh, the Staff of Salvation somehow wasn't going to work as, as the way I thought it would, but it did. So don't worry about that. Everything else is fine. As for the others, the only important things they need are the Yig, Yig leaves. That's it. So they both have Yig leaves just in case I screw up, which can happen. And I'm going to be doing something a little cheeky right in the beginning. But for now, let's go ahead and talk to King Corral. Yes, yes, Meddlesome, Legendary Hero! I'm glad he summons the wagon, though, because otherwise the other two would be more of a liability. But it's boss time against King Corral! Alright, so first things first. We're going to use Insulate so that Granny and Doity have some sort of defense against uh, breath attacks if they need to come out. And that plus defending does very minimal damage. And then... We say goodbye and let uh, Chromio handle it. All right, so Chromio can't use a pack to punch because it'll just get disruptive waved away. It's there really is no point. So he hasn't uh, he hasn't used bounce yet, but don't worry, I did 68. Oh, he went right for it, 105. So staff of salvation, and we're good. Uh, let me see. Frizzle meanwhile does 62, so it's roughly the same amount of damage as physical really right now. So, in general, then, you're better off physically attacking, because at least you have a chance to crit. Sometimes Frizzle can match that damage, but generally, it won't. So, you just attack. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start fast-forwarding in a bit, because this is going to get very tedious. And I, I think my plan is that I'm only going to slow down whenever he does a critical hit. Oh, wow, that took him a while, but the Disruptive Wave only affected Chromio. Meanwhile, my other two party members still benefit from Insulate, so if they should they have to come out... Oh, there we go. Should they have to come out, um, they'll have a moment to at least try to survive, you know? Alright, fast forward time, guys, because this is very monotonous. So, literally, it's just attack until he crits you, then heal. Other than that, you're good. But yeah, he was only... Chromio was only at 80 HP before, so... <laughs> Uh, the life seeds were very necessary, but you don't have to use them all just yet. You could just barely get him above 105 if you wanted to. Hmm. He's taking a while not to critically attack me. Meanwhile, I'm getting crit attacks. Oh, there we go. Let's heal up. There we go. But yeah, I would still say the slime curio is the more useful thing here. Because, uh, at least it can help get you f um, fuller up on HP so you don't have to spend a second turn capping yourself, topping yourself off. But soon that may may be needing uh, revision here. We might not need, want the Slime Curio soon. Though I do think for the next fight, which is La against Laja, we won't need the, our fourth party member yet. A fourth party member yet. I mentioned in the beginning one set of people that I wanted for this team, but... In the last party slot will be someone useful, and my plan was to get that... I have the page pulled up, pulled up. Hyper Enemon, which is the only non-special, very special, but one of two uh, enemies that you can only get after defeating defeating uh, Nimzo. There, there's two that you can only get. Okay, Hyper Enemon, whatever, how you want to pronounce it, and Barbados. Those are the only two that you can get right there, so... I'm going to need somebody for somebody stronger for Estark because I I tried on a whim um, to see if a maxed out Metal Slime with their defense could actually handle Estark's Estark's attack. And uh, if Estark did does double attack, it would basically instantly kill Chromio. Oh, there we go. King Corral is down. Yeah, Metal Slime cheesed it very well. Oh, and good. We got a level up probably for Doity, I'm guessing. Oh, no, Chromio. Only one HP. I'm a little sad there. Uh, the agility and strength. Okay, good. We got the strength that we wanted. But, yeah. Next up is against Lodja. And, again, I think that one's actually going to go pretty easy because we're going to probably do what I'm doing right here. Let Chromio handle it. But after that, it's going to get tricky because I'm actually going to have to rely on my party members against uh, Nimzo's second form because that's where he can crit and it is not... <laughs> It's not going to be anywhere near where I can get enough life seeds for it. So, yeah. Anyway, I'll see you over at Lodja.
Okay guys, we're here just before Lodja, and things are going to be pretty damn easy actually, because Chromio can solo this. But here's an update on our stats anyway. So, I think Chromio only got like one or two levels at most. Strength is getting up there. I have not given him any, any more stat seeds since last time against King Corral. So, he's just as best as, the best as he can be at the moment. I do still have some strength seeds that I'll probably be giving to him after I max out their levels, which I will be doing after we uh, beat Lodja, because I want to be at our best when we fight Nimzo. So, in any case, here's our stats here. Granny has not changed at all, and Doity got a couple levels, but at best his strength is respectable since he's got the Cobra Claw now. But that's it. It's not even great. It's just like, okay, you can attack some. You you can help secure a kill for uh, Romeo. But that's it. And he's five levels away from maxing out, and which is, again, really stupid, I think. Same with abilities. Uh, Venom Mist is just not helping. Though paraly par paralysis, excuse me, paralysis attack is actually pretty good during random battles, since every now and then he could... Get take out a enemy really quickly to keep them, you know, off of our, our backs. But in general, unless they're like critically hitting, like the Gigantis or something, it's not really a threat to Chromio. So, as for items, well, nothing changed for Chromio at the moment, though it, it the time will probably be coming soon where well, we'll definitely be getting the Metal King hat from him, but. So time will probably be coming soon where the Slime Curio no longer can help keep Chromio in, and I may need to start using the Staff of Salvation more, but don't worry about these, this is just for wild battles. The Staff of Salvation is probably the only important thing you need, plus the Packs of Punch. I threw a Yig Leaf in just in case, and the Stolo Staff in case I wanted to bring uh, the other two in, but you really don't need to, so don't worry about it. Yig do the same reason. But yeah. Uh, Granny still having the Sage Stone. The only important thing it really for her is the Sands of Time and the Yig Leaves. In case Chromio goes down and it looks like it's hopeless, you can reset the battle or Yig Leaf, but that shouldn't happen unless I get really unlucky in the very beginning before I can get get uh, Chromio's defense up with Kabob. That's literally it. Same with Doity. Doity doesn't really have much. It's just, hey, a Yig Leaf in case. And Staff of Salvation, because we got two of them thanks to the Nadiria TNT board, so. He's still a pretty good Dragon Staff user for this part of the of the wild battles, but that's about it. But yeah, that's literally it. Don't worry about it, Chromia's going to handle this. I will meet you at the start of the battle. It's final boss, well... Final in confrontation with Lodja time! Eh, I ruined it. In any way, don't worry about this at all. So what I'm going to do is, I'm not even going to let monsters die in this. We're just literally going to go to Chromio. Don't, I need a, if I can get my fourth party member after Nimzo, I need to get all the experience I can for monsters. So let's just go Chromio only. And we're going to kabuff, because that is the first thing you absolutely 100% want to do. Because... Otherwise, logic can tear into Chromio's uh, health pretty fast. He does about, like, up to 30 if you don't kabuff. And if he does it twice, uh, you you can be a little bit in trouble, but it's not the... You generally are going to be fine. That was without my uh, packs of punch. Whoopsies. There you go. And now we just attack and... <laughs> and uh, Lodja can't do shit. Like, look, even that that attack now, it doesn't matter. It's just, it's pretty damn hilarious that we can neuter him after the m many, many troubles he's given me over these monster parties. This is very, very cathartic. It's like, ha, fuck you. I mean, yeah, you're evil scum anyway, but now, okay, see, now he, if he actually kept doing that, I'd actually have to use the Staff of Salvation. But he doesn't. And I'm good with that. But yeah, it's just wonderful that you can just tear through him. I mean, he, he can't really... He's not a threat for the most part. And again, he'd only be a threat if you didn't kebuff. 
And you don't want to bother with the, having the party in here because, well, it would just make the fight take a little longer. The only one that could decently attack is Doity, but Doity is very fragile because he's low HP and no resistances. And Granny doesn't have any attack, but has the HP to survive for a little bit. But then she, all she would be doing is just keeping Doity alive. So you may as well go completely safe and let Chromio take the wheel here. This Now, this is not going to work when it comes to Estark, because Estark's attack is too high for Chromio, even if I had a much higher HP. So that's why I have that hopefully final party member coming after Nimzo, if we can survive Nimzo. I'm going to at least depend on the others for Nimzo, because the first... Oh! Geez, we're done already. But yeah, uh, the first phase of Nimzo should be mostly easy for Chromio, I think. Uh, I, I might need to be careful with certain parts, because if he gets ganged up on physically, he might go down. But I do believe that Chromio is going to have this pretty easily. But the second part where he could actually critical hit, that's where I'm going to need the other two. In any case, that's it for Lodja. I will be maxing out everyone's level uh, after this point. I wanted to get uh, access to Metal Kings before I started maxing out levels. And then I will meet you at Nimzo. I'll see you there.